Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Rubel. So today we will learn how to retrieve data from the database using Python program. So the last tutorial we learned how to connect the MySQL database to the AWS Live Shell. And after that, we, we ran this uh, simple um, select query to retrieve the user. And we are going to do the same process using Python program. So let me collect some information or just give you the high level overview that what we are going to do. So since we are going to use Python program, so in order for us to connect to Python with MySQL, we need one package and we are going to use Py MySQL package. And that has, we are going to install in the virtual environment. We already know like what is the virtual environment and how we can install package in virtual environment. Then we will use the connect. Um, uh, we are going to use the connect function and where we are going to provide the information, right? So with the information we need, host name, username, password, and database name. We already learned like what is host name, username, password, like when you create connection in database. Um, so the database name as well. So here the, our database name is this one, like Bitnami WordPress. And also let me close this one and show you like the this information again. So let me reopen my school. So this is our database, so right click, edit connection. So so when I say the host name, right? So like when we connect our um, database with the AWS last shell, we provide the host name, port number, username, password, right? So in this case, we uh, in order for us to connect with the Python, we, we have to provide the database name. Okay, so now let me uh, close this one and open database. And I, I will minimize it for now. So after I, I we make a connection, then what we did? After we make a connection, we open the MySQL and we write the simple SQL query and uh, after we run the SQL query, we have to retrieve the data, right? So in uh, in Python, we have um, we have a, a, a function called face all. So it will retrieve all the data from the table. So let me show you again. So if I run, so it has like this, uh, this, I don't know how many row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I mean, in number of row, right? Whatever count row number is, if we want to face all of them, we can use uh, the function call face all. So it will retrieve all this information. So after it retrieve all this information, we need to print on the console, right? So that's why we are going to use uh, print a statement and we will display our um, uh, in our console, similar this way. Okay, so that is the goal. So now let's bring PyCharm. And uh, let me see if I need anything else. Yeah, the first, uh, let's see if we have a uh, uh, package uh, already in our uh, virtual environment. So this is our virtual environment. If I click on leave, you can go through like this to see if there isn't any um, uh, any package for Py MySQL is here or not. And another way you can check, just uh, right click on the root level, the project level and open terminal. And you see I am already in the virtual environment and how you, how we know we are already in the virtual environment, you see API hyphen env. So that means we are already in this folder. You are we are already in this folder because it's activated itself. If it is, if you do not see that, you have to activate and you have to be like this uh, way, okay? So now 
in order to see like what uh, like what kind of package already we have in uh, in our virtual environment we can write p list so it will list out all the package already we downloaded in the virtual environment so as you see i don't have any py mysql here so now i have to install the py py mysql so is p install by my SQL. So I will clear the screen. Now, if I do pip list again, I should see by my SQL. You see, by my SQL is here. So now, on thing, so I'm already in stores. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create your own Python file. Uh, not the PyTest, we will learn like we have to um, we have to run in the PyTest, but right now just we are simply write Python file. Okay, so then up, uh, in, in continue, we will enhance this uh, Python file to run with the PyTest. Okay, so now I would say my SQL test, whatever you prefer now, right? So I don't care at this moment. So cancel. And the first, I have to import the PyMySQL that I uh, package I install. So I have to say um, import PyMySQL dot connection. So I import that. And now the second, I have to make a connection, right? So uh, what I have to say, I say by my, by my school dot connect. This is the second method I'm going to use, connect. And then all those um, yeah, information I have to provide here. Uh, I mean, host is equal. Then I have to provide clone, then what else, user is equal. I'll fill out that in a moment. Then host, user, password. And uh, in the database. This is kind of a variable that I provide here, okay? So it's database is equal to that. So now I have to prove, fill out this, um, this thing. So now post name. So let me go back and uh, get the host name. Let me close this, reopen. Eddie. So this is my host name. Comment A, comment C. Let me put on the side. And I'm going to provide the username. And password. I expose my password, but I will change after I done with this. Okay, so password is U A T one two three four, and database name. So our database name is. Let me go back and open that. Okay, so this is our database, right? So it's the bitnami underscore WordPress. So I, I'm going to enter that. So we already make a connection. So the now next step, we have to create a cursor object. Um, 
cursor object to execute our uh, query, right? So I would, and this like pi may my SQL dot connect, right? We can just uh, say uh, db db connection db con okay so this is the variable so i do, i i use just call this variable whenever i need so now and then i'm going to create it on um, another variable i need say my cursor is equal DB connection dot cursor. So I create a cursor, I make a connection. After the connection, I need to execute, right? So before I execute, this cursor will have that ex execute um, information. So now what I'm going to do, I can use uh, my cursor. dot execute and this one i should also uh, uh, you know create a variable and put it in uh, in the variable so results and this execute query let's uh, let me go back let me minimize this i don't need that uh, so this is the query that we are going to run so i'm going to just copy and paste it here. This is a string, so I have to put in the string. So how do we do it so far? So we create, we make a connection, then we create a cursor because the cursor of a cursor has it execute information, and we, pro, uh, we put it in the variable called results. So now it will execute this query. So now what we are going to do, we are going to print our results. So how, as we say, like if we want to print all of them, we have to say uh, print and um, results dot fetch, oh, hold on. My cursor dot hold on. My results. So my cursor I put it here. So I should have um My cursor dot face all. Okay, so it will face all the record and uh, what list? I don't need a variable there. I can. So, so this is the just execute the car, uh, execute the query, right? So I can provide the variable here because this face wall it will have all the records. So the result should be here, not the previous one. So now, if I enter print, print results. Uh, let's run. You see, it's ran all of them, but if we want to run like the, let me execute, if we want to, you know, uh, run like this, we can use the for loop. So in that case, we can run for loop here. For i in results. And just print, let me indent or delete this one. I don't need this. 
and I would say print. So now if I run again, you see it print exactly the similar way that in the database like 1349. Okay, so that uh, you see like how it e how easy it is in using Python to retrieve the data from the database. So I am going to stop here for this one and uh, and the next from the next tutorial I will modify um, enhance this code and we are going to run using our uh, in in a PyTest format and also we will compare like you will retrieve uh, any of the user information uh, from the database and other information from the API so you'll com compare the results okay thank you